Well, I'll tell you why. You know, I remember a conversation my father and I had. I think I read about it in the book also. Um, one night having dinner, family dinner, and discussing atheism and everything else. And he, he leaned over and grabbed my hand. He says, you know, I hope and pray that my son, my other son, someday will accept Christ as his Lord and Savior. I remember that so well, sitting next to him at a dinner table. And, you know, Ron has the First Amendment right to say whatever he wants to say. Right. If he wants to be an atheist, be an atheist. But if you listen to the ad, at the end of the ad, what does he say? I'm Ron Reagan, a lifelong atheist, not afraid of burning in hell. And when I see that, or when I heard that, I just thought about my father, and I thought, oh, my God, what would my father be thinking? And is he in heaven in tears, looking down on his other son? And, and when you think that we just, Ash Wednesday just came on March 1st. We're going into the holy days of Catholicism around the world. Easter, 40 days out of here. And, and to think that they started running this ad a couple of days prior to Ash Wednesday. Right. Into, into March. I'm well, Michael, I have to ask you something, because we mentioned that this ad was, happened, like, aired in 2014. This is, you know, I've seen the ad a couple of times. So why now? Or did, were you just not aware that the ad was running? After, what's the purpose? What is the purpose of running it again now, after 2014? What is the purpose now? And I'm going to tell you, I think it's just the absolute uh, uh, hateful thoughts that those two stations have for Ronald Reagan. I think they're using my brother to, in fact, attack Ronald Reagan and blaming my brother for it yeah. is what they're doing. I, I tell you, I don't think if one of Obama's children or Clinton's children or Carter's children or Kennedy's children were to do something of that nature, that they would be running that ad. They would be appalled by something of that nature. Uh, and, and would not run it. But they're going to run the son of Ronald Reagan mm -hmm. ad. And that appalls me. And so, yeah, no, I'm sorry, CNN, MSNBC, you know, as long as they're going to run the ad, I'm not going to be around the building. Well, and, and that's what I want to ask you, because we only have 30 seconds remaining. So I, I just want to ask you real quickly, what do you hope that this boycott, by going out publicly and boycotting these two networks for airing this ad, what do you hope to achieve by this? You know, I'm just telling you how I feel. I and mean, what's Twitter? It's 140 characters how you feel today. And that's how I feel. I mean, that's how I feel. I feel that MSNBC and CNN are running it because they have a deep-seated angst and hatred towards conservatism, and especially, you know, Ronald Reagan. And they're using my brother to, in fact, facilitate their anger and their hatred. You know, they're going to say, well, it's about money. Come on, give me a break. But to use my, my brother to demean religion... And, and knowing who my father was and what he believed. And that appalls, absolutely appalls me.